Hi everyone, so this is going to be my 2017 favourites, like my ultimate favourites throughout the year. Um, as I was getting all the stuff together, I realised I'm going to have way too much stuff for just one video. So it would, it would last hours and I, I wouldn't watch that. I don't really want to sit here for an hour just talking about it. So I'm going to do separate videos um, on the different areas. This is the first one, the one on body and hair care. So these are products, not just Body Shop. I've got like Tony and Guy, Avida, Urban Decay, Liz Early, um, all sorts. So it's quite a broad range. Um, all of them do not test on animals and it's all uh, ethical because that's something that I think is really important. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So to start up, I'm going to do body care. Now, if you've been, if you're a part of my Facebook group, you'll know that the Sheer range is one of my favourites. It smells amazing, along with the coconut um, as well. Um, so this is the body scrub. It just smells heavenly. So what I like about the, um, these, this is from Body Shop. So what I like specifically about um, Body Shop uh, scrubs is that it's really hydrating as well. It's not like rubbing sandpaper onto your skin, which some scrubs are like. I hate that. Um, I have very dry skin anyway, but using an exfoliator that's too harsh is not the way forward and it makes it, well, worse and it can irritate your skin. So it sort of really smooths and refines your skin. Um, and also hydrates it as well, and it smells heavenly, like the smell stays on your dough. So following on from that, it's another thing from the sheer range. Oh, the little nozzle. I hate it when that happens, when the nozzle's the wrong way round from the front. I've never noticed that before. This is the whipped lotion. Um, it gets absorbed into your skin really, really fast, and it smells amazing. You can I use it in the mornings um, so that... Like it gets absorbed in. I know sometimes if you have a moisturiser that doesn't absorb fast, then you put clothes on. It's absolutely horrible. You don't get that with that lotion. I'm ultimately the most picky person <laughs> when it comes to like moisturisers and um, that sort of thing. It's all about what your skin feels like at the end. And if it like it could be amazing, but if it doesn't absorb fast. I'm not going to use it because I don't like feeling like a slippery soap and like all, all clammy and all the horrible feelings you get if you have a moisturiser that doesn't absorb in fast enough. Then next up is the Wild Argan Oil uh, Body Butter. Body Shop Body Butters are amazing. It's one of the iconic ranges that, like iconic things that Body Shop sells. They are known for this. Um, well, this is like body butter um i also oh, i haven't got out i like i really like the shower gel if stuff is kept in my shower i've not brought it out because it's all like gets wet and i don't really want to potentially get leaky old shower water on it just smells so good and it's for very dry skin and it absorbs into your skin fast and you can literally feel the difference and you can see the difference as well which is quite important because you can get like horrible, bumpy, dry bits. That gets rid of it. What more do you want? And it is it is like £15, however, it's totally worth it. If something works for you and it's like a bit higher of the price point, I think it's well worth investing in. Because what's the point in wasting money on products that doesn't get the job done? Even if they are cheap, like we're wasting money because you can end up like using it. Um, and if it doesn't work, you're wasting time really, and, and no one's got time to waste. Then next up is the Amazonian Saviour um, multi purpose balm. So this improves the appearance of tattoos, skin marks, and more. So I don't have any tattoos, and the and more bit is like it helps with like eczema and like skin conditions like that. I use it for burns because I'm incredibly like, I get a lot of burns, I'm really terrible. So it's gotten rid of my one there. I've got a very slight shade mark still. It takes a little time, like we can't expect it to be like, put it on once and it's gone. 
and I am really bad at remembering to put it on so any change is massive for me because I don't put it, you're supposed to put it on like twice a day, I do it like once every couple of days <laughs> and I use it for like stretch marks and they have actually faded. Um, it's very difficult uh, with products that help with stretch marks really because a lot of them are a lie and they don't actually help. You can't expect a product that you put onto your skin to eradicate them completely if you've got extra, like if they are big and like older one like like more like not that fresh. If they're fresh, it's easier to um, get rid of, I assume, and like prevention. So if you're pregnant, this I imagine would be good um, to put on uh, to help ward off stretch marks but ultimately um i got it mainly for the, the scars but we all should love our bodies so okay so sorry that cut out because i ran out of space on my mac which is a bit like i'm gonna have to buy an external hard drive because i'm such a photo hoarder i just can't delete them at all so oh gosh on to hair care this is the Fuji Green Tea um, Hair Scrub. It is the most bizarre thing I've ever used in my life, but it works so well. It smells so fresh. So I'll use this once a week, and I will like have a bit into my hands and scrub it into my scalp, um, and then when it gets wet, it does lather up. Uh, it's £15, I believe, and it's totally worth it. Because it but makes your hair like really, it, make, it makes my hair grow quite fast. And it's good to give it a good clean because I use hair products. Um, it needs like a deep cleanse every now and then to remove the junk that that leave, can leave onto your hair. So this is amazing. And following on from that, what I will use is the banana hair mask. Now this does smell very strongly of bananas. Like it literally... It is what it is. If you are hungover, do not use this because the smell is very, very, very strong. Um, it, it smells strongly of banana. You only need to use a little bit, so this lasts so, so long. And it costs £12. So what I do is, after the hair scrub, I will get out of the shower and I'll have, because I'll, it's supposed to be on damp hair, so I'll let it, I'll uh, pat it dry a little bit. Do not rub because I don't want to create extra static. And then just um, pop it on, don't put it on my roots, pop it on here and I'll do the best I can considering I don't have very long hair. I'll clip it up and leave it on there for like 20 to 30 minutes. I have done it for like 10 minutes and it does still work well, but um, the longer the better I think. Well, it won't go longer than 30 minutes. So it's for normal to dry hair. I obviously bleach my hair so it's it needs everything it can possibly get. Other than that, like normally, the shampoo conditioners I don't have here because it's in my shower and it's all like wet and gross. I like Avida's um, hair remedy ones, but I re at the moment I'm using um, Avida dry remedy conditioner and the Fuji green tea shampoo, which is really nice and it's really refreshing. Um, and it works well. It keeps my hair on track and because I've pretty much mastered my hair routine, like apart from like obviously I need to dye often, um, my hair grows really fast and it's in way better condition considering the fact that I bleach it and it gets dyed all the time um, than if I didn't have a good hair care routine. Hair care routine, very important, I've been learning. Then next up is heat protection. Very important because I use heat on my hair. Um, I don't really let my hair dry naturally. But I do occasionally, but if, even if I do, chances are I'm going to have to use something on it the next day because I've got these bangs. I haven't used any heat on it today and it goes wavy. So at the moment it looks all right, but it can end up, wait, I could wake up and it'll be like that. And I'll look in the mirror and be like, how has that happened whilst I was sleeping? I went to bed with it normal, woke up with that. So I use the Tony and Guy heat protection um, spray. It's like seven pounds-ish. 
Um, I've been using this for a few years now. If it works, don't knock it. Basically, that's what I've got with heat protection. Um, Body Shop doesn't actually sell a heat protection spray yet that I know of. Um, I have tried many others. I've tried Tresemme, did not like that at all. I found it made your hair quite greasy. Um, different types of heat protection spray from Tony and Guy. Um, an Avida one, which is all right. I just think it's. So I don't need to spend that much money on it when I can get this one and it does basically the same thing. It smells nice, so the Avida one. This one doesn't, it smells all right, but it doesn't smell as good. Then, also from Tony and Guy. Now this, this product, because I don't have, I don't, my aim is not to have straight hair or like really curly hair. Like, like sometimes I do, sometimes not. This is like, my everyday hair sort of I don't I go for waves and more the messy look so this this bad boy here is how I do my how I would do my hair um when it's like gone sort of straight it's the Tony and Guy salt texturizing spray so my hair doesn't really go straight very often because it's not naturally like that this is my natural hair so I will squirt this onto my little hands, scrunch it up, and bam, curls will come, or like waves will come. And I'll do that if my hair, if I've curled my hair as well, because it makes it hold it really well. And I love it. I've been using this for as long as I've been using that heat protection spray. So good, good few years, like four plus years. The packaging has changed many a times since I've started to use it. Then next up is one that looks slightly mank at the moment. It is from Avida. It's the liquid gel. Um, I think this smells amazing. And I use that to basically the same as the salt spray, except I sort of alternate between the two. And it really sort of holds it a bit more into play. And the next day you can then scrunch it up and it sort of goes in because it is gel. Uh, it also makes it have less flyaways which is always a win. Salt spray does not always achieve that. So I will hover between the two, depending on what I want. Now I'm gonna just pop on the one something to the end, because I'm not really sure where to put it. And that's the fragrance that I have been using all year. Now I was literally saying to my sister the other day, is that I think I need to start um, like broadening my fragrance horizon. There are some that I really like, however, they're very expensive. So I'm, like, I'm not justifying paying 60 pounds for a perfume just not a chance am i doing that so i really like the body shop cherry blossom or japanese cherry blossom scent it's like eight pounds or something i've been using this for years i even have a little version to put it in my handbag it smells really fresh floral and sort of girly which is what i like in scents and i've been using this the whole year and i'm running quite low so I'm gonna have to buy another one I usually go through one a year <laughs> so that's it for the hair body and fragrance um thing I'm just about to film the next one which will be skincare and then makeup because I've got quite a lot I've basically picked one from each part of the routine or just like every day what I genuinely use um I use less hair and body care stuff so thank you for watching and I'm going to see you very shortly because I'm filming the next one. Bye.